I don't know about you, but I am so ready for a pop of freshness in my wardrobe as we head towards spring. We're not quite there yet, but adding in spring greens, blues, teals, aqua, the whole palette, that lovely family of fresh, I don't know, colours of the ocean, really do brighten up your wardrobe and, most importantly, suit every complexion. So what I've got here are some real pops of newness, which I'm going to show you, but let's start with the Rebecca coat that I've got on here. The most beautiful shade, easy peasy, very classic, a um, bit of a nod towards a 50s sort of vibe, but really beautiful, soft, cosy, but the colour is stunning. I've teamed the coat with a classic Breton, which again is a real, a real sort of nod towards summer, the warmer months to come, but it's really pretty and bright and easy to wear. And then I've popped on our Riva trouser. Now we had these in um, like a sort of stony colour. Now they're in soft, light grey. Anyway, there we go. There's, there's my first little pop of aqua. So let me show you what I have here. So I'm going to start with Cosima. Now this is a very light, viscose knit tank top. I guess that's what you call it. The shape is really cool. And if you have Quinn or Canna, which is the same fabric, um, they're sort of sleeved jumpers, you will love this. It's the same body shape, really easy, light to wear, as you can see, gives a nice sort of, I don't know, softness to this outfit. I love this color. It is so beautiful. It's a punchy navy, which works well with pretty much anything you sling at it. It also works really well, controversially, with black. I know you're not supposed to wear navy and black, or I don't know if I said that, but break the rules because I think it works and looks incredible. Now, if I need to layer this up, and I can wear this without anything underneath as it heads into, um, as we head into warmer months, but for layering now, I can chuck over another real nod towards spring with my kimono, which is really pretty. It feels like I'm heading into the garden and it definitely is making me feel spring-like. So I want to quickly show you Ramona. Now, we've had this little knitted gilet in for a few weeks. It's been incredibly popular, but I wanted to show it to you because the colour fits in with this little collection that we're talking about. It's a beautiful teal. It's an easy piece to wear. I can sling it over pretty much everything and it is a little pack horse in my wardrobe. I have been dying to show you this piece because the colour is absolutely beautiful. It's our new Dina. Um, Dina is a cardigan that we do season after season. It's so comfortable, so pretty, soft mohair, and we introduce new colours. And this is the latest to our beautiful little Dina family. It's, I'm going to say like a violet, but it also is, I'm getting lilac, violets, um, forget-me-nots. It's such a pretty colour. And I've just sort of tonally mixed it in with my um, navy shirt here. And these trousers are blending with all of these colours, so I've kept them on. But it's so beautiful. It's, it's soft, it's cuddly, and I can wear this down the beach in the summer, as well as right now. Beautiful. So this is our little loke jumper. It was so popular, we had it last season in a sage green, that we've done her again in this luscious teal, which I'm wearing over my seren dress, so I'm creating a skirt. The colours here speak for themselves, all very sprung-like and green and pretty and gardeny. But the aqua in the dress and the teal of the jumper really sort of pull it all together. The style is neat, like I said, it's an easy little jumper with button detail here at the back, but it's the colour that is so beautiful. So there we are, I'm loving this freshness. So have a little look and see what you can maybe add or brighten up as we head into spring.